All right, all right. Uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, you know, that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. You know, uh, Adawan Ratiza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash, is going to be basically on how our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, all right, he's coming quickly, man. All right, he's coming soon, all right, in our lifetime. You know, Lord willing, Lord willing, we are part of the elect, are a part of the elect of Israel, because that salvation is only for Israel. Are right, we gonna be delivered on that great day? All right, and I bring I bring this precept out a lot because, you know, it's all through the Spirit. But He's the our Lord is coming back, man. We gotta have that in our mindset. You know, every day that we wake up, man, just just know that hey, we doing what is worthy, what is what is required of us, that we may uh, have salvation on that day. And the Lord may forgive us. All right. So this is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. It says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So the Lord said he's coming quickly. All right. And he's going to give rewards, salvation, the reward of, of, of for the good, for, for, the, for the elect is salvation. But the reward of the wicked is death. All right. Let's read in the in NIV. It says, look, I am coming soon. And this red letter says, my reward is with me. I will give each person according to what they have done. All right. So we want to be doing all right, the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. All right. Let's look at this word quickly. All right. In the Greek. Strong's G 5035. Tahu. 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 And it means quickly, speedily, without delay. All right, so he said shortly, i.e., without delay, soon, or by surprise, suddenly, or implication of ease, re readily, lightly, quickly. So he said he's coming quickly, he says without delay. And that reminds me of what? The book of Hebrews. Hebrews, the 10th chapter. This book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 35. It says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Which have great recompense or reward. So we're not supposed to cast off our faith. All right. Ship says, uh, bear with me, let me get this real quick. This book of um Sirach chapter two and verse Sirach chapter two and verse. 12. It says, Woe be to the fearful hearts, meaning the fearful minds, and faint hands in the center that go in two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore he shall not be offended. defended. So if you cast off your faith, you don't believe, you're not going to be defended. The scripture say, All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Verse 14. Woe, woe unto you that have lost patience. What will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah, you lost patience. That's why the scriptures always uh, reiterate or, or tell us, don't don't cast away. Don't don't doubt. All right. Neither doubt because the Lord is our guide. That's second to 16. Always have our faith, you know, uh, 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 locked in to Yahweh Bashim Shah, basically, you know, fully on Yahweh Bashim Shah, no matter what. All right. It's uh, Hebrews 10 and verse 35 again it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward all right so when we uh uh, uh complete the task all right we're going to get a reward just as the lord told us he's coming back with rewards verse 36 for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high 
ye might receive the promises, man. That's why we, the scripture says, like, we press towards the mark of the high calling. All right, not that we have our obtained. We haven't obtained all right, uh, the salvation. All right, the, the new bodies, the, the crown, all right, salvation being delivered from thermonuclear fire. We haven't obtained that yet. So we got to continue going. And what that we might receive the promises right, when our Lord Yahweh shall returns. Verse 37. And yet a little while he that shall come will come and will not tarry. All right. So this is talking about our Lord Yahweh shall. Let's read it in NIV. For in, for in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. See? Quickly. Going to that word quickly. He's not going to delay. All right. Verse 38 in the KJV. All right. It says... Now the just shall live by faith, talking about the elect. But if any man draw back, what does it mean to draw back? Go back into the world. I right, go back and fucking be around these demons. All right, and live it up. So-called live it up because the Lord's about to send fire upon this place. The Lord's breaking this place down already. All right. So if you're going back, you're going back to death and the Lord's going to destroy you, man. All right. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Yeah, the Lord's not going to have no pleasure. in Trip says he that put his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. All right. He that knoweth the will of the most high and prepare not himself shall be beaten with many stripes. All right. There's there's a judgment for those who came into the truth and left. You just not going to uh, live scot free and just think everything will be all cool. All cool. Nah, the Lord's going to put a deceiving the lord already put a deceiving spirit on you you're gonna take that rfid chip and the lord gonna cook you man or you or you're gonna get destroyed before that jacob's trouble in those concentration camps all right teeth the wild beast the sword it's gonna get crazy out here man but our lord said he's coming quickly and those who forsake the lord get ready for those judgments but those those who wait and patiently are right, uh diligent or patiently wait on the lord and that and that are diligent in this truth i examine himself repenting continue fighting hey there's a there's this reward of salvation hebrews 10 and verse 39 but we are not of them who draw back into perdition meaning destruction but of them that believe to the saving of the soul yeah you got to believe man i the promises that the lord said when he comes back we're going to be changed in a twinkle of an eye at the last trump he's going to deliver us from all our troubles all right you got to believe that man that he's only coming for israel and the lack of israel all right and this whole his coming is for us. His coming was it's for the it's for the benefit of the whole world, but it's ultimately to establish the kingdom for Israel. That's as the, as the uh, the uh, the disciples which term which turned apostles asked the Lord in Acts one. Actually, let me get that because this is where he's coming back. And I was meditating on this earlier. This is uh, Acts chapter one and verse. I shot the one in verse six. It says, when they therefore was come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, will, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because the kingdom of heaven, the promises, the blessings, all right, the glory of the kingdom, which is all written in Romans nine is for Israel. All right. The Roman Knights have to tell you who's the promises, the, the adoptions, all those, the blessings, the promises is for Israel in the kingdom of heaven. The everlasting kingdom is for us. And you other nations, y'all going to be our slaves. And you Edomites, you so-called white people, y'all going to serve us for a thousand years. And we're going to burn y'all up with fire. That's Obadiah verse 18. You can read it yourself. Verse 7 says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. All right? But, and that's another thing. Our Lord Yahushua said, He don't know the date or hour, but he know what he gave the disciples signs. All right? Only the Heavenly Father knows, but... The Lord said he's coming quickly because these signs, wars, rumors of wars, Matthew, Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. Those are all he t he he told the disciples this was going to happen before he makes his second return. And this all everything is happening, man. Joel tells you it's going to be pillars of smoke, which they just had a volcano erupt. I think it's Indonesia. Brother Samak told me that. And then then last was it last Monday or the Monday before? It was uh, the solar eclipse. The sun shall be turned into the darkness. All right. And the pillars of smoke. You know, women shall prophesy. You know, old and young shall prophesy. That was all happening before the great and terrible day of the Lord. So the Lord gave us the signs. 
All right, but he don't know which date, but we can see clearly he's coming fast and that we are waiting on is that RFID Dicha, which is Mark of the Beast. I continue on slacking. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses both unto me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and in, in unto the uttermost part of the earth. What is the uttermost part of the earth? The Americas. And what did the truth spring out? All right. Out of New York. All right. Babylon, the great America, man. And now, this, now it went throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Verse nine. And when he has spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight because he was taken up in a, a chariot, so-called UFO. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Talking about the angels was standing by the, the, the apostles. Verse 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why standing ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way our Lord left is the same way he's coming back. Acts chapter 1 verse 5 or 7. So like it. Acts chapter 1 verse 7. So like it. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, with the chairs, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so am I. So this is the way our Lord Yahweh shall come in. Let's read this. Revelation 1 and 1 says, The revelation of Yahweh shall Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto them, unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he did sin and signify it by, by his angel unto him. His servant John, which was on the island of Patmos. So the Lord said these things as must shortly come to pass. All right. And we're living in this this uh generation, man. Let me get this right quick. Matthew chapter 24. In verse. Lord said he's gonna shorten the times too. Matthew chapter 24. I'll read this Matthew chapter 20 because this is how the Lord's coming Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the star shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken all right this is all right, before the great and no terrible day of the Lord man all right all hell's gonna be breaking loose verse 30 then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. This is how our Lord Yahweh shall come back. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So the Lord is going to gather the elect from all four corners of the earth, but the main deliverance is going to be here in Babylon the Great. Verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So you know when 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 trees are starting to bring forth fruit, like you live down here in Florida, they got like mango trees, orange trees, or coconut trees. You will see them start to bud a little bit because you know that summer's near. Verse 33. So likewise, when ye shall see the all these things, know that it's it is near even at the doors talking about our Lord Yahusha. When you see these prophecies happen, you know he's coming back. Verse 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So he's coming back in this generation. All right. He's coming back quickly. All right. So we got to watch as well as pray, man. All right. So Lord, what in this lesson will edifying. All right. To the elect. Of the nation Israel, you know, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and the elders at Great Millstone with Ruba. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep it doing. Shalom.